guys, I'm back today with a Primark and H&M haul if you haven't already guessed from the title. The bits in this video I did buy a couple of weeks ago but I've been too ill to film. So I really hope you enjoy this video, if you do please give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. So yeah, let's crack on. First thing I brought is this lovely khaki jumper from H&M. It's got the split detailing on one side and a zip on the other. It comes down slightly lower at the back so it covers your bum, but this is just a, such a beautiful colour, it's really in at the moment. I also have another top in this haul that's a similar colour. I got this in an extra small and this was $14.99. It fits perfectly, so yeah, I love it. Next thing I purchased was this high neck, bat wing long sleeve top. It's got that ribbed effect, effect to it. I also got this in an extra small, it fits really nicely. I get a little bit claustrophobic when it comes to high neck stuff, but this one wasn't too tight, so I didn't really have that feeling with it. This, again, I got in extra small, and this was $7.99. I like that top so much that I also got it in black. Again, it's the high neck with the long back winged sleeves and that ribbed effect. Loved them and they were so good at $7.99 that I had to get the both of them because I couldn't decide what I liked more. So yeah, those are the bits that I purchased from H&M. The next thing I'm going to go on to is the stuff that I brought from Primark. So here's me sat here wishing for summer. I brought a pair of sandals. They're these lovely black suede effect sandals with this gold detailing and tassels on them. I got them in a 5 which are a little bit too big. They didn't have them in a 4 and I couldn't risk waiting until I went back to Primark again to see if they would have them in my size because knowing Primark they change their stock so regularly that I would never be able to get them again. So the 5 fit okay, um, I could have done with the 4 but yeah, the five is fine. And speaking of fives, these were five pounds. The next thing I purchased was these um, Herbal Essences Hello Hydration Mini Travel Bottles of Shampoo and Conditioner. These were reduced to 50p, and I find these perfect to put in my gym bag so I don't have to take the full size bottles with me. I also then brought some hair grips. It's a pack of 60 and they come with this handy little box to store them in. So hopefully I will never ever lose a hair grip again. I seem to buy a pack and within a month I have about two left. So yeah, there's 60 in these pack and they were a pound. The next thing I brought from Primark is this nine pack of earrings, nine pack of studs. Um, they've got some mixed ones in there. They've got a couple of feathers, a couple of shells, some triangles, and then some with some blue detailing on them too. I'm hoping you can see that in the light. These were £2. I'm not a very big earring person, but I saw them and I just thought, why not? They look quite pretty. So, yeah, £2 for those. Keeping on the jewellery theme, I then brought a couple of necklaces. This one, it keeps getting tangled up. That's fine, it's not tangled. Um, so it's got these two silver tubes and then sort of three loops down below. I just thought these would look really nice with um, any sort of like plain top that you're wearing. Yeah, so that was reduced to one pound. I couldn't really say no for a pound. I then also got this silver necklace with a thick chain and these little bits of detailing down below. It's got this aqua blue colour in it, which I thought was really nice. It'd be really nice to wear either like a white or black top, just to add a little bit of colour. That was £3, I believe. I don't have the packaging for it anymore, but I'm pretty sure it was £3. I also brought some gym bits while I was there. Got this black with a grey geometric design. I think that's what it's called. Is it geometric? I'm sure it's geometric. But I brought this in an A and this was £8 as well, so that was really good and I thought it's just really handy to chuck on over a sports bra and I really like the pattern of it too. The next thing I brought was actually a sports bra, I got this in a medium, um, it's got this light support in there as well so you don't necessarily have to wear a bra with it and I also have a pair of running leggings which is like this pink. I didn't really have anything to go with them but now I do and I can chuck on that racer back vest top with it as well and that will go really nicely. This was £4 and they've actually got loads of them in there at the moment so if you're looking for a sports bra check out Primark. They had these in loads of other colours as well so have a look. 
The next thing I brought was this bright pink hooded top. Um, it's got the zip down the middle and two zips on the side which are perfect for when I go running because I don't like having to carry my phone, I always feel like I'm going to drop it. So now I can just chuck it in the pocket, zip it up and away we go. It's also got these um, holes in the sleeves for you to put your thumb through, for you to keep your hands slightly warm. This is perfect, it's exactly what I wanted. I got it in an A and this was £12. I have already worn it so I don't have the tag but I'm pretty sure it was £12. The next and last thing I brought was this grey jumper and it's got this pink and black detailing on the side and on the arms. It's got this, um, is it a snood neck? I think it's a snood neck. If I'm wrong let me know. But yeah, I just thought that would be really handy just to chuck on in the mornings before I go to the gym just to keep them warm till I get there. This I got in a 10 because it doesn't seem very big and I don't think the material is that stretchy on it either. Um, it was also £10 and I just thought it would be great. So yeah, I'm really pleased with that. That's everything for today's video. I really hope you enjoyed it. If you did, as I said, please give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel to see more videos like this. Tomorrow, so Monday the 11th of April, I'm actually going to stay on the cruise ship for the night. I'm going to stay on Ovation of the Seas, which is a Royal Caribbean ship. I'm really excited for that. I'm going with one of my friends. So I'm going to take my camera with me and do a mini vlog on that, um, which will be uploaded next Sunday. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed and I hope you have a good week.